Once upon a time, there was an exciting fairy tale about a young boy named Aladdin, who, instead of having a yo-yo like the other kids in the neighborhood, had a magic lamp. By rubbing this lamp, a great genie would appear and grant Aladdin oh. any wish he so desired. I wish I had a yo-yo like the other chaps. Yes, master. Unfortunately, Aladdin also had a wicked uncle who wanted that magic lamp and was constantly trying to get it away from him. I'm a sport, Al, baby. I'll give you a 1913 nickel for it. No, you're kidding. A dime, maybe? No, no. All right, then, I'll, I'll shoot the works. 50 cents. It was a mighty tempting offer, but Aladdin still refused his uncle. The only way you'll ever get this lamp is over my dead body. Say, funny you should say that. Ready, aim. That would have been the end of Aladdin, but at the last moment, he rubbed the lamp, the genie appeared, and the wicked uncle disappeared. His problem solved, Aladdin then wished for a beautiful wife, a beautiful palace, and a beautiful treasure. With everything he could possibly wish for, Aladdin lived happily ever after, or so everybody thought. It so happened that 20 years later, Aladdin chanced to be in the woods reciting poetry and, uh, I shoot an arrow into the air. It falls to earth, I know not where. But there was a powerful sorcerer who happened to be passing nearby, and he knew where. Have you any idea how mad a thing like this makes me? Would it help to say I'm sorry? Give it a try. I'm sorry. It, did it help? With that, the sorcerer waved his wand. There was a crash of thunder, and Aladdin's riches, wife, and worst of all, his magic lamp with a genie vanished from the face of the earth. Now, what do you think? Well, offhand, I'd say you're still pretty hacked. And poor Aladdin was right back where he started, a penniless, dirty little urchin. I hate days that start off like this. Knowing the only way he could get back what he'd lost was to find another magic lamp. So, off he went in search of his wicked uncle, who had helped him find the first one. Luck was with him. Wicked uncle, it's me, Aladdin. Get out of here. Because of you and that magic lamp, I've been down in the dumps for 20 years. But don't you see, that's why I'm here. I want you to help me find another magic lamp. A deal was made, and they hurried off to the edge of town and to the mysterious big hole in the ground where they had found the first lamp. Look, if there was one lamp down there, there might be two. If they liked it once, they'll love it twice. Jump down and see, baby. Now remember, dear wicked uncle, we both jumped down. And sure enough, there on the ground before them was another lamp, but much larger than the first one. Go ahead, rub it, see if a genie appears. But though he rubbed and rubbed, nothing happened. Perhaps, um, if one of us got inside the lamp and pretended to be a genie... Silly, but it's worth a try. Aladdin squeezed his way inside it. The uncle rubbed vigorously, and a genie did appear. Uh, it's not really a genie, Unc. It's me, Aladdin. I know, I know. All right, let me make a wish. I wish for a ham sandwich. Aladdin strained mightily. He couldn't even come up with a mustard. You knucklehead! If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess. Venting his wrath, he gave Aladdin a sharp rap on the head, which produced a large lump. I certainly wish we were out of here. And just like that, they were. I say, it did work. Unknown to them, it wasn't Aladdin who was magic. It was the lump on his head. By now, it had gone down so that every wish they made was futile. I knew I couldn't trust you. You're holding out on me. The lump on his head. Maybe we're wishing for too much. I say, let's try something smaller. I wish I had my nickel back. Just as it was, the lump worked a miracle, but instead of wishing while the lump was there, they dashed off to spend the nickel. By the time they got back to wishing again, the lump was gone. I wish I had a million. I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray! 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 Well, they wished and they wished for six straight days without one of them coming true. And then, on the seventh day, a minor earthquake shook the city, causing a vase on a shelf to topple down and crash on Aladdin's noggin. You guessed it, the lump was back. No! I say, am I lump prone these days? You know something now, baby? About the only thing we haven't wished for is to be in a huge cavern in which rests all the priceless treasures of the world. That did it. It worked again. We're millionaires. Overjoyed, they cavorted among the vast riches, and all the while, the lump grew smaller until at last it was gone. Well, all we have to do now is wish that we were back home with all this stuff. Yes, go ahead, wish. I wish that we were back home. With all this stuff, like he said. Oh, what a tragedy. For their wish would not come true without the magic lump. They were doomed to stay in that drafty old cavern. Wonderful, wonderful. You want to stay in a drafty old cavern? Oh. I thought he said tavern. 